Hey guys, I want to share with you an app that I've been using and really enjoying lately. It's called Glovebox. It's available in the Play Store. The links are included in the description. It allows you to access a sidebar. Now you can populate this with your favorite apps, shortcuts or toggles and it can be accessed within any app. So you could have very quick access to your favorite apps without the need of having to go back to your home screens or app drawer. So let's take a closer look. The app itself has a multitude of options, trigger, sidebar, personalization, folders and blacklist. I'm using the free version which has some limitations, some features are off limits and it's only allowed up to 8 apps in the drawer. If we tap into trigger, by default the trigger is actually visible which you can see on the left hand side. You can change the location of that by dragging the slider up and down. You can have it fully transparent and you can also go ahead and tweak the sensitivity. Me, myself, I actually prefer an invisible trigger, so let's untick that, and it gives you a bar which you can actually edit the start and end to customize the exact size you prefer. And of course, you can mess with the sensitivity. Now, in terms of positioning, I've got mine set to the left, but you can also choose top left, top right, or just the right-hand side, and you can actually have more than one trigger active at a time. You can then go back to the trigger area editor, swipe over, and then customize that trigger. There are various other settings you can mess with, including trigger style if you have it visible, haptic feedback, and pause in landscape. Now before I go into sidebar, I'll jump into personalization, and it gives you quite a few options to get the styling exactly to your liking, and it even gives you an option to change the entire theme, and there are quite a few to choose from, including a wood or a light theme, and tapping into them gives you a preview of how it'll look, and you can either change the sidebar or the icon style separately, or both together. The sidebar density changes the size, and I have mine set to extra large to have the icons look nice and big but of course you can have those set smaller if you prefer. Again there's a few other settings you can mess with here including effects levels that changes little effects when you actually activate the bar, bar opacity, icon packs which is really cool you can choose to set a completely different icon pack to what your system default is and it will apply those icons to the sidebar only which is pretty damn awesome. And lastly we have icon spacing, this is pretty obvious, it changes the spacing between the icons in your sidebar, so depending on the number of apps you have you can choose to have less space between them and have them all fit on the screen, or you can have more space between them but if you have too many apps you will have to scroll. So jumping into sidebar you have some more options including app transition animation, scrolling down you have full swipe action which is the action that happens when you fully swipe across the screen, I have mine set to cancel. There are some other options including back but that requires root. The quick swipe action allows you to choose between the bar staying on screen or closing with a quick swipe. And you'll probably notice I have little pop-ups telling me what apps I currently have selected. If you don't want that you can go ahead and turn it off. The sidebar does also support folders but you don't actually have to just use this for applications, you can actually use this for quick access to toggles. For example I have Bluetooth here which is currently in the bar and you can use this to quickly turn Bluetooth on and off. So this is the area where you can actually add to your sidebar, pressing the plus you can see all the options you have, applications, widgets which requires a premium version, shortcuts, action toggles and folders. Now me personally, I use this for quick access to some of my favourite applications that I don't want to clog up my home screens with. It's a full feature sidebar that gives you loads of options and I've really been enjoying it. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Peace out.